Here is the long-awaited living room tour and DIYs that are super cheap and easy to make that will transform the look of any space. Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. Now I know this is long overdue. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my living room and we're gonna start from the door. As you walk in, it's a DIY world starting from the entrance. Everything you see here, for those of you who follow me on my channel and watch my videos, you would notice that almost everything that you see here were on tutorials that I had shown on my channel. I've been using the gimbal, but this is the first time that I'm using it for a tour and I was kind of clumsy about it. So now that I have that all sorted out, I'm going to start all over again from the door. Picking each DIY that I have in my home, one after the other. And trust me, there are some DIYs that I know a lot of you have not seen yet. So I would like to encourage you to stick around to the end. At the entrance on my left, up here on the wall, it's a shelf that I made with hangers. And here's a short clip. And the full video is going to be down in the description box below. Now I just have it mounted on the wall to put little items there. And I love the way it looks just at the entrance. Over here, right beneath it, is a table made out of dining chairs. Old Walmart dining chairs converted into a small entryway table. And now it fits perfectly well at the entrance because the space there is kind of small. Over here is another DIY that I made and I really love this project and it was so easy to make. Here's a short clip. Now I have this at a corner and this glass vase that's on top of it, it's really, really heavy. So it does take a lot of weight. And how about these sconces that people thought was going to fall apart? But guess what? It's been over two years and it's still on that wall. Now at the middle, it's another wall DIY that I made and I really love this one too as well. And the link for that is also going to be down in the description box below. I am someone who is always constantly changing around the decor in the home, but up till now, this is still on this wall because I love the way it looks. Here's another favorite of mine, the Chanel table. Here's a short clip. So we're still at the entrance. Now when you go just a little bit and then you turn to the left, right down, you'll see a little bench 
my reason for putting the bench there to make it easy for me to put on my shoes on my way out. Now this bench is also a DIY that I have made and here's a short clip. Now the full tutorial video is going to be down in the description box below. Speaking of shoes, Hubby and I have some shoes that we always put on. So it's right behind that door. <laughs> this one here that I decorated. And I'm going to open the door so you guys can see what's inside. And it's a shoe rack that is also a DIY. I made this a while back and I love the way that it's not just pretty, but functional as well. Still moving into the house. Now you're going to see this wall here that I decorated with Walmart mirrors and Dollar Tree bowls. Here's a short clip for that. I love the wall so much because it kind of looks like an artistic gallery. And now the table that's here, I did change the mirror on top. I ordered a larger one that's going to fit and it's not yet here. So I just placed something else on top. The table is also a DIY and the link for that is going to be down in the description box below. This wall decor is also a DIY and here's a short clip of it. If you're interested in any of the DIYs, don't worry because all of the links for each and every one of them is going to be down in the description box below. Ah, and here's the door. This door is so unique and so pretty. Here's a short clip of it. It was so easy to make and yet it made a bold statement in my home. Here's a gold striped wall besides it. And I also made a video for this wall. And I made a short clip for you guys to see how I made it. And the full video is going to be down in the description box below. This little table here is a recent video of mine using Dollar Tree Bowls and I love the way it looks. I made it for an entry space but now I just placed it there because I love the way it looks in the middle of the two chairs that I have. Here's a quick and easy DIY sliding door that I made using hardwares wood and mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree. This was a requested video but when I made it I decided to just leave the sliding doors there because it's pretty and it kind of separates the space for me from the other doors that are on the other side. What I have down here is another DIY that I made and here's a short clip. This lounge chair is one of my absolute favorites because as unbelievable as it seems because I use cardboard in making it, it is super sturdy and I'm always on the chair because it's close to the window and it's super comfy as well and I'm so happy that I made it. Now the link for that video is going to be down in the description box below. 
At the back is a DIY 3D mirror that I made and the link for that is going to be down in the description box below. It also comes with a matching table that's by the side. Can you see that little mural box there? Well, I have my trash inside. It used to lean on the wall like this and it was an eyesore. I mean, you can be moving into an apartment and seeing a trash can saying, hello. <laughs> it's the first thing you see actually when you walk through the door. So I decided to cover it up with something much more pretty and no one is even gonna know that I have a trash can inside. And I love the way this turned out. And the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below as well. Now moving into the kitchen. Well, I don't have a lot of DIYs here, except for the curtain. The link for that is also gonna be down in the description box below. I don't know about you guys, but I love Chick-fil-A so much that I had to get a bigger bottle for their signature sauce. Here I have my plaques mounted to the wall and I appreciate you all for making it possible for me to have two plaques for two huge milestones. Behind me is the living room and in front you can see an overview of the kitchen like any typical apartment here in the US. I made this DIY curved chair a while back using buckets. Because of where I wanted placing this, I had to remove the top and put it right there in the middle, in between the bar stools. I always change the coffee table in my living room because I make a lot of DIYs for them. This is what I had before. It was kind of small, so I moved it to the side and it became a side table. Now I use the red one instead in the middle, and here's a short clip for the red coffee table. I love the way the red pops in the midst of the gray tone that I have in the living room. The coffee table that I moved to the side is also a DIY project of mine. I made this mirror and the floor lamp besides it and the link for all of them are going to be down in the description box below. This table lamps with crystal branches were purchased from Home Goods. They were not high enough, so I put candle holders at the bottom to elevate their heights. I got this huge vase from at home stores, and it is sitting on a DIY that I made. And this used to be an old shelf that was so ugly that I transformed into a glam shelf with lighting. So apart from the large sofa that I have in the living room, I have my throne chair besides it. And I transformed a plastic chair into a throne chair. And I really love that chair at that position in my living room because I don't really have a lot of space per se. So this fits perfectly fine at that corner. This is also a DIY and the link for that is going to be down in the description box below. Here's another DIY that I made, and it's a cute corner shelf using Walmart mirrors. These are one of the items that I placed at that corner that did not move because I love it right there where it is. 
the vase that's on top of it was also gotten from at home stores as well as the plaque that says Paris that's by the side on the entertainment center that I also DIY'd. This is real crushed mirror glass, guys, and in the night, it shines so well when the lights are on. But not too much, just okay to give it the glam that I want. I DIY'd the fireplace to make it go over the entire theme of the entertainment center. The large white horses or white chestnuts were gotten from Home Goods. The glass candelabra was gotten from Amazon and the large candelabra was gotten from at-home stores. The floor lamp that's by the side is a DIY of mine, and here's a short clip. I really love that crystal floor lamp because it looks store-bought, and it is a DIY. In my living room, I used to have dark blue curtains before. I decided to change it to white. And up there, guess what I used? Plates! So these were the curtains that I had before. And then I changed them to white. And I use fling wrap at the top. This is the chandelier that I have in my living room. And the medallion that you see there covered up the emptiness that I had there before. I will leave a link on how this was installed down in the description box below. I made another short video for my living room with little changes. This was the setting that I had before the one that I have now. In this setting, it's the rug and the coffee table that's different. Now we have come to the end of my living room tour and I appreciate you all for watching this video. Now, like I said, each and every DIYs in my living room is going to be down in the description box below. I always change my decors every now and then. And if you think these are a lot of DIYs in my living room, wait till you see the other rooms. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.